session. We're just going to spend a few minutes on the lesson of Christ came to us. If it had not been for Jesus dying on the cross of Calvary, we wouldn't be where we are now. Jesus came, as Paul said, to save sinners. And he also said, chief sinners as me. So it has not been for Christ, I wouldn't be where I am now. Because Christ came to save us from damnation. In our lesson, it gives us a little illustration about, do you remember the, the old Mighty Mouse cartoons? And I remember the old Mighty Mouse cartoons myself. Those are old cartoons. And, 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 and the main character was an animated mouse in a, in a Superman soup in a cape. And, and Mighty Mouse could do everything. He, he had all kind of powers. He, he could fly. He had super strength. He had x-rays, visions. And one thing about Mighty Mouse, he all, always saved people in the nick of times. Uh, he, he, he freed victims from the evil force. And sometimes I know you wonder, are there any more Mighty Mouses in the world today? Well, I know some of you people love Superman and the Flash because it looks like they're always never too late but always on time. But we have a saying in the church that he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And that's what Jesus is about in our lives. He's our superhero. Jesus is our everything. And most people enjoy hero stories. But one of the greatest hero stories ever, ever played out, or ever is true, is that Jesus came down to redeem us and to save our souls and to give us salvation. And we have hope in Jesus. And hope is with us right now. And the Bible said, By no other name under the heavens can man be saved but by the name of Jesus. So we're going to be talking about this month on Jesus came to us. And there's a saying in the Bible that I know a lot of people thought they went to Jesus. But the word of God said that Jesus chose us. We didn't choose him. Jesus chose us. He knew that we needed a savior. And he came in on a lot of our lives right on time. So I thank the Lord that Jesus came to us. In our lessons, there is a, in the book of, Matthews and even the book of Isaiah tells us of the birth of Jesus. It says that the birth of Jesus came about this way. After his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, it was discovered before they came together that she was pregnant by the Holy Spirit. So her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her publicly, decided to divorce her secretly. But after he had considered these things, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because what has been conceived in her is by the Holy Spirit. And she will give her birth to a son and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. And this was the mission of our Lord and Savior Jesus, to save us from our sins, to save a universe, a world, to save each and every one of us from our sins. And it also said, now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophets, See, the virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel, 
which is translated, God is with us. God has special ways of dealing with us in humanity. A lot of times we want to try to do things on our own, but we can't do things on our own. And David says in the psalm, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we would have fainted. And many of us wouldn't have made it if it had not been for the Lord. So God understood and knew after the fall in the garden that we were going to need some reconciliation, that we're going to need somebody to save us. So he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, by the birth of Mary, to save us from our sins. Look what the Bible says in Matthew's, the 18th chapter, 15th verse. He said, moreover, let me get back, that's the wrong verse. He says uh, that Jesus came to save us. He said, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people. Salvation comes through the person of Christ. That's where we get our salvation from, through Jesus Christ. Uh, we can uh, properly appreciate the concept of salvation. You can appreciate it, the, uh, the concept of salvation, until we think deeply about the person of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son of God. And because Jesus is more than the one who accomplished our salvation, he's not simply the being who made salvation possible. Psalms 27 said that the Lord is our light and our salvation, and whom shall we fear? Jesus is our salvation. And when you embrace the call to follow Jesus, you didn't respond to a concept or a message. You responded to a, a person, a human being. And the word said that he became flesh and he dwelled among us. So he knows what we go through. He knows what we're about. He knows about trials and tribulations. He knows about the evils of this world. So when you follow Jesus, you have to pick up your cross and you have to bear the burdens of this world. Jesus had to bear the burdens of this world. He said the same Jesus who was born of a virgin grew, learned, lived, and died almost 2,000 years ago and the same Jesus is the Lord of God's kingdom and the master of our lives. Jesus is our master. Jesus is our everything. And as we study this lesson, we're going to find out and go into the deep character of Jesus, who Jesus is, what his mission was on earth, and how he completed that mission when he said on the cross, it is finished. So Jesus came to save us. And not only that, to have a relationship with him that we know that he's Christ. And he responded to what God did. He sent him down to save us from our sins. Now, all of us need to meet Jesus. You need to know Jesus for yourself. It's a personal thing. It's a real thing in your life that when you come to know Jesus and, and you stay with him for a while and you mature in the word, walking in faith, you understand why God is so good and why God blessed us and sent his only begotten son to the cross that we may be reconciled and be saved. Because without Jesus, none of us would be saved. So glory be to God that we have Jesus. And Jesus came to us. Thank the Lord that he came to us because we couldn't save ourselves. We had so much sin and so much burdens and so much things on us. 
Who else could save us but Jesus? And uh, when was the last time you enjoyed a personal encounter with the Lord? When was the last time you really felt that there is a God? That, that God realizes that without him, you can't do anything. I tell you what, when you get your back against the wall, or you go through some disappointments and problems, or you go through the things that we're going through now with this pandemic and police officers killing our people and stuff, you'll realize that we need Jesus more than ever in this time. But we're living in perilous times. I'm here to tell you that... Don't you think that everything is just going to the pots because God is in control. And if you need somebody in your life to help you mature, to help you get through the things that we're going through, through this pandemic, dealing with family, if you have a problem, a health problem, it's Jesus. And that's what we're going to be dealing with, the mission of Jesus. Jesus came to us, came to save old people like us, old sinners. And it's a good time to have a good relationship with Jesus. John 15, 16 says, you did not choose me, but I choose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruits and that your fruits should remain. So Jesus came to us to make us a new person, a new creature that we can serve and let people see the light of God and that it will lead and guide them to salvation. The gospel writers understood the importance of Jesus' existence as a living, breathing person. As John said, he was the word. And now he came in the flesh. And now he's with the Father in the kingdom to intercede for us. Jesus is our everything. He's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths. His mission was to reconcile us back to God after the failure in the garden. Who else could have saved us but Jesus, the Son of God? And so God sent him that we may be saved. Every day you get up in your life, you ought to be blessed that there is a God. You ought to be blessed that God sent Jesus to save us. I love what Paul said. Jesus came to save sinners, which I am chief, because none of us is, per is, is, is perfect. None of us could be nothing like Jesus. But I'm so glad that Jesus came, that he can open the way that we can be saved and have a right to the tree of life. And so when I meet with you again next, we will go into the next step in our mission to salvation. Salvation comes with a plan. You've heard people say, make sure that you work on your own soul salvation yes yeah, salvation is free but you got to do something to earn salvation and we're going to get in there with that in our next meeting we thank you for being with us this evening and we hope that you will enjoy this concept of our lesson that jesus came to us thank you <laughs>